yeux qui fondaient c'est les miens Un rire qui se perd sur sa bouche Voilà le portrait sans retouche De l'homme auquel j'appartiens Well, this is one for you, I think. It the, is. The kilns, you were a big man on the kilns. In the I, was, I was definitely an activist on the kilns. Um, a few people, I was president of the residents and ratepayers. And a lot of people contacted me and said, look, we're really concerned. This is part of our, especially the seniors, it was part of their growing up. Their families worked at the kilns. And... I felt it was very important to save the cluster. I, I did a lot of reading and um, the university contacted me once they know I was involved. It was in the Sunday Times and um, it was the cluster that was valuable. Other places like Bayswater just saved one kiln because they've got, they had a cluster but they didn't want to spend the money on saving them. And um, we had a council at that stage who said they're going to fall down. They're still, they've been up for a hundred years. They're not going to fall any, down anywhere. Um, so my my idea was to save them, and I did everything that I could to even drag my kids to um, protest meetings and meetings at high schools. At the Kewdale High School was the first meeting with Peg Park in an unspalding and. All the old residents of, of Belmont, because um, they all wanted to save the kilns for everybody else, not for themselves, just for everybody else. So it was a really good project. That a, re a real typical story of how it happens, isn't it? Yeah. There have been other 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 things that have happened um, along the same lines. I can think of Signal Hill. Yeah. Signal Hill was a, a bush area, an environmental area, and they wanted there was a call to have it. Um, demolished and for the uh, um, housing to be put there and the, a, a bloke who lived next to it and a, an environmental school Kevin McLean led the led the fight with with quite a few people involved with it and mm. Peg Parker again and yep. eventually they were able to save the bushlands and uh, today it's still there still an example of bushland in 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 Belmont what it was and quite a, an environmental area so but people took the, the bother to, to become interested in it and save it. The same is going on is going on over at the um, the old baseball um, yes, ground. Yes, it's another one. It's another one. People are interested in saving parklands and, and baseball grounds and all the rest of it, and they don't want change. How do we how do we mix this with our development that's going on? I think when I first got here, there wasn't much effort to do it, but now. The state government has taken it upon themselves as well to help because a lot of the the town planning and so forth is is really dependent on state government if the state government doesn't agree well you don't go anywhere and that's all there is to it they've got us with a series of daps and so forth which mean that uh, uh, the old fights we used to have in council as to what we were going to do are just non-existent anymore <laughs> Quand il me 